Welcome to the broadcast. It's great to have you with us. I am Ashley Mazuri. Our sign language interpreter is Damien Evans. Tonight, we can reveal details of the performance contract signed by cabinet secretaries on Tuesday. Each contract has been tailor-made to meet requirements and targets of each ministry, with President William Ruto appending his signature against that of each cabinet secretary. Now, the targets have been set in line with the Kenya Kwanzaa administration's bottom-up economic transformation model. Rita Tinina kickstarts our broadcast. With the Kenya Kwanzaa government nearly one year in office, the Ruto-led administration has embarked on a performance-based assessment for its CSs. They put pen to paper on Tuesday at State House Nairobi during a ceremony witnessed by a tough-talking president. Many of you, the people I speak to, don't even know what is going on in your ministries or departments. You have very scanty information. KTN is now in possession of the performance contracts, which run from the 1st of July this year to the 30th of June next year. Several targets cut across all ministries, among them expected to utilize 100% of the approved funds from the exchequer, not exceed 1% of the actual budget allocation, implement the presidential directive on attainment of 10% national tree cover, award 30% of tenders to youth and women, and 2% of the 30% to persons with disabilities, and digitize at least 25% of government services. For the National Treasury, CS Professor Njugu Nandungu has been tasked with mobilizing 198.6 billion shillings from external sources and 521.5 billion shillings from domestic sources to bridge the budget deficit. He will also be expected to implement a fiscal framework to gradually reduce the fiscal deficit from 5.8% of GDP to 4.4% of GDP in the 2023-2024 financial year. To finance Ruto's administration's ambitious transformative agenda, Jugunandungu has been tasked with the implementation of tax policies and administrative measures geared at raising total revenue to a tune of 2.9 trillion shillings, an equivalent of 17.9% of GDP in the current financial year. He will also be expected to mobilize 14.3 billion shillings from the Global Fund for HIV, TB and malaria interventions. In line with the bottom-up agenda, Education CS Ezekiel Machogo is expected to raise appropriation in aid to 3.5 billion shillings, provide capitation grants to 13 million learners, provide upkeep support grants to 131,000 learners in 480 schools and increase enrollment of learners with special needs in public primary and secondary schools. In the Ministry of Agriculture, CS Mithika Linturi signed the contract committing to procure 200,000 metric tons of fertilizer to benefit 4.5 million farmers. He is expected to register 25,000 farmers for the National Value Chain Support Program and register 450,000 farmers to benefit from crop insurance as well as avail 14 metric tons of certified cotton seeds to farmers in 24 counties among them Busia, Siaya, Baringo, Embu, Muranga and Marsabit. The targets may be specific. But the contracts do not specify what action will be taken if CSs fail to meet their targets. Rita Tinina, KTN News. With a timeline of 31 days to conclude the talks between the government 